we're just coming along the canal at this place called Pooley Country Park and we saw that so we thought well that's worth investigating see what's up there so we're on our way up given up it's like a lunar landscape isn't it up here Real gold, friend. Be prepared to pause your television if you want to uh, read this. It's a monument to all the coal fields that used to exist around here that have been gradually taken over by nature again. So yeah, lovely climb up the hill. Gorgeous views from the top, just a shame about the roar of the traffic, but you can't have it all. Looks like the bamboo's taken over. I blame Alan Titchmarsh. Oh, lovely. What have we got here? Ooh, nibbles. And vino. Left over from last night. And it's um in the cupboard under the sink. 
It's really quite cool, considering that way it's out. Have you sampled it already then? I couldn't carry it through because it was too full up. I might have spilled stuff. so-called Spanish bluebell. They're escapees from gardens in this country, introduced many years ago, and uh, they're spreading themselves around quite rapidly and also hybridizing with our native bluebells. So they'll be uh, quite a pest. You can tell the difference between them because our native bluebells, the flowers are sort of on one side of the stem and lop over but these are all more or less all the way around so yeah invasive so we've uh, just left Faisley uh, visited Jeff for a night and uh, now on our way to Hopwas it's only a few miles uh, it's a bit warm so we're going to stop and have a beer or two as you do on a Sunday afternoon. So we're retracing steps from a year ago now. We've, uh, this is all old territory. We've got approximately 22 miles to do now before we get to uh, pastures new, as they say. So, but all the same, it's, uh, might have done it before. But it's it gorgeous, isn't it here? It was snowing last time we were at Fradley Junction. It was what, sorry? It was snowing last time we were at Fradley, so, um, it was probably March, I think. Yeah, it's the end of and, end of March. And now end of April, so it doesn't matter if you're going back somewhere again. It's just still different scenery. And I don't think we took anything in. We were we really were like children in a toy shop this time last year. We're um, taking it all in a little bit more now, aren't we? So we're having a nice steady cruise, pootling along. Just let a boat pass us because they wanted to pootle faster. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, really enjoying the day. So it's uh, really busy on the canals oh, now, isn't yeah. it? Especially being Easter weekend, you got you know weekend boaters out, day boaters out, and um, the marina, Them marina are types out. have come out as well, haven't they? <laughs> but it's uh, it's yeah, it's lovely anyway. It's, I don't mind. I don't mind it being busy actually. Sometimes it's uh, no, it's it's adds a nice atmosphere, nice doesn't it? Nice to see people. It's, yeah, a lot of fun. Lots of cyclists. Oh blimey, yeah. Right, over and out.
beautiful native bluebells in their woods there. This is Hopwas Woods that uh, sometimes the military uses a shooting playground so you have to choose your moments when you can go in but some great mountain biking to be had in there beautiful look at that If my memory serves me well, these polytunnels are for growing asparagus in, the early crops of asparagus. So look at all that land just taken over for one short crop. Amazing. Having said that, we do like a bit of asparagus. So it's about 8.30 in the morning, we're off into Kingswood Marina, get some gas, have a pump out, so here we go, have a tight turn, King's Orchard Marina, sorry. What's happening, Fran? Huh? What's happening, Fran? Oh! <laughs> We're going looking at boats again. With Maria yeah. and Rob. Hello! We're having a day out. We like it because we can uh, not only look in for their boat, but we look for ideas for our boat. And because we saw a really nice step on the last boat that we went to look at with them, Bob has made us one, hasn't he? Yes. St a storage cool. step for our we're dead chuffed so we're going to see what I can find today for you to make bump <laughs> <laughs> before you get your boat <laughs> get in there first so we're going to rugby boats the home of quality boats apparently so uh, this little lady's coming along as well she's going on the front of the new boat yes <laughs> she is yes oh, back at the marina bag load of washing too much there for Edna to cope with all the heavy stuff so once in a blue moon this is what we have to do get ourselves into a laundrette so left Fran to go and walk the dogs while I sit and read my book and do the washing looks like we're being chased down at a fair rate Full steam ahead, Fran. I've got a real big drip on me then. Is that a bird? What are you eating on me? <laughs> no, it's just starting to rain. Apparently we're going to have heavy rain today, later on. And uh, we're about half a mile, aren't we, from Fradley Junction? Yes, I think so. So we're going to be mooring up there for the night before we start the locks towards... towards... That way? Great... Haywood. Haywood. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've got about four or five days of rain forecast, I think, so I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there. But uh, yeah. we'll dodge it, we'll dodge the showers. So will we, are we going to have to um, are we going to have to pull over and let this guy pass, or are we going to be able to moor up before? We're being caught up really quickly, so I think it depends. If there's only one mooring spot left, I think we'll crank it. Yeah. Get in there quick. <laughs> Here's one for you expats that are missing uh, little bits of England. It's uh, we've had probably two weeks of. More, maybe longer than that oh, since yeah, it's long rained. Time since it's rained. We've had just that Easter weekend, which was really hot. We think uh, probably the hottest Easter that is on record here, and now a little drop of rain, and it's that smell that you get in England. Well, probably anywhere, but it's really evocative. The spring smells with the rain. You're laughing at me because I'm being <laughs> sentimental. But the smell of the rain on the ground, on the dry ground, and especially this time of year, it's just April. It just sums April up, doesn't it? Really. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it is lovely. What a huge nest they build, don't they? This one's, look. How many little eggs have you got under there, Mrs? So yesterday we went to the laundrette at the marina and uh, refused to spend money on tumble drying our sheets and quilt covers so we hung them up in the back of the boat and uh, it's worked a treat nice and dry so we don't have to dodge around that anymore today we can come down Here we are at the famous Fradley Junction with the Swan Pub, otherwise known to boaters as the Mucky Duck. And it's got very busy. It's uh, Thursday morning after Easter. And uh, lots of boats coming through this junction. And we're next to come through the swing bridge. Beautiful location. We're on the Trent and Mersey Canal. We've just turned off the Coventry at Fradley Junction and uh, we got a little bit wet, haven't we, Fran? <laughs> April showers. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But uh, we don't care. We don't normally travel in the rain because it's, it's just annoying, isn't it, more than anything? 
But, um, but we're just keen, we've got, uh, I don't know, you would say how many miles until we're on completely new territory because we did do this stretch last year and it doesn't matter, it's different, we're seeing it through no eyes but we're just both really keen to get onto some new ground now mm. so we think we might um, just go a little bit faster than we would normally through this next stretch through the town of Rougely so that's the final luck of today, just three as I said earlier, but look at that sky.